Hey everyone, this is Sunny Justice with It's a Criming Shame. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Ruby Frank and Jody Hildebrandt and Kevin Frank. And we're going to be talking about the dynamics and about the grandparents as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see above, Ruby Frank is in a relationship with Jody Hildebrandt. So what's happening? What's going on? Um, Splitsville, obviously it happened and obviously it must have been in 2021 because if the relation status is 2022 for January 1st, there must have been a relationship prior to this date then. Okay, so let's rewind time a bit and go back to about 2015. So in 2015, approximately the eight passenger had hit the YouTube platform. Now, throughout the years, it gained success, having over 2.5 million subscribers. And at the beginning of January of 2023, the channel had basically deactivated. Now, at this moment, because of the charges against Jody Hildebrandt and Ruby Frank, the channels have both been taken down by YouTube. So that is the eight passengers channel and also the connections channel that was hosted by Jody Hildebrandt and of course Jody and Kevin was involved with it as well. So again there's this Pandora's box thing going on here where you open up door number one, two, then three and four start opening up and five and six until at some point the whole story will unravel. So May 31st of 2020, a change org petition goes up saying CPS investigation into eight passengers and it had 17,872 signatures. Now, why this petition matters, it says. Hi, if you don't know who eight passengers are, they are a family of eight YouTube family. They have produced video content since around 2014-2015 regularly and in recent years have been subject to controversy in the past for things that they have done, such as taking their youngest Eve to the supermarket naked at the age of three with just a diaper on. Another was when she told us that Russell did not have autism because it was something along the lines of he was not intellectually challenged. Thirdly, she sent her son to a behavioral camp which focused on kids who had done drugs, carried knives for reasons that he was kicked out of school. And finally, the subject we are talking about today was that she banned all electronics from her kids all summer, including TV. The children appeared very sad in a recent video saying that they have no friends and Ruby's response to this was that it is very vulnerable thing for you to say. Do you want me to keep this in the video? Surely if she felt sad about this as she sounds in the video, she would act on it to what they have said. This is due to them having no access to talk to the friends whatsoever due to Ruby not allowing them to do so. To add to this, Chad, their second eldest, told us in a recent video that has recently been taken down, but I am in the process of finding the video, that he had been left on the floor for seven months on a beanbag solely because he teased his brother. If you can agree with me on this, the removal of a bed and being left on a beanbag is going to not only give him lack of sufficient sleep, but also create spinal problems. Ruby and Kevin say a bedroom is a privilege and that they have consulted their therapists and psychologists. I think a lot of us would love to know who these people are, since if you read on the removing privileges, it states removing basic necessities is child abuse. It also goes on to say that this family are profiting off of their children and focusing on themselves first as they say that they're the adults. They have furnished their bedroom with a bed frame and a new for, newly furnished bathroom with a $2,000 toilet seat while their children sleep on the floor on a mattress. The family will not allow us viewers to speak and so as a result we have taken our own action. We are supposedly triggered and shouldn't be because it's not our kids and we don't live with them 24 7. however ruby produces the videos for us to watch and so we can judge them if we choose to there's nothing stopping us 
Ruby a couple months ago spoke about how she shows too much of her life and now suddenly she's saying we know nothing about her at all. There is more to this petition back in 2020 and I'll put the link in the description of this video if you want to read the rest of it. Okay, so where are we at this moment? Well, on August 30th, Ruby Frank and her business partner Jody Hildebrand were arrested in Ivins, Utah. Now, the officials also found that Frank's 10-year-old daughter in a malnourished condition at her partner's home. Both women were charged with six counts of child abuse last Friday. So the police also said Frank's 12-year-old son climbed out of the window and ran to a neighbor's house to ask for food and water. That the party, which is the neighbor, stated that the juvenile appeared to be emaciated and malnourished with open wounds and duct tape around the extremities, according to the statement from the Santa Clara Ivans Public Safety Department that upon arrival, the law enforcement observed that the wounds and the malnourishment of the boy to be severe. The boy had to be taken to the hospital due to his deep lacerations from being tied up with rope and from his malnourishment. Now, Frank's 10-year-old daughter was also taken to the hospital. Officials later obtained a search warrant in connection with the incident and in total four children were taken into care of Family and Child Protective Services. On Friday, the following Friday, Washington County officials in Utah formally charged Frank and Hildebrandt. The charges stem from the alleged abuse of two children in three different ways, physical abuse, malnutrition, and severe emotional harm. Each count carries a prison sentence of up to 10 years and a fine of up to $10,000 U.S. in Washington County officials had said. Now, as we just talked about, the vlogger had faced a lot of backlash in the past for her strict parenting measures described on the channel, including her son claiming to accept on the beanbag. Now, the beanbag incident led some viewers to call local protective services, though Miss Frank claimed to Insider that the incident had been taken out of context. Now, she had also appeared in YouTube videos posted by Jody Hildebrandt, a counselor and life coach on her site, Connections. Now, in such a video posted on May 10th of 2022, Ruby Frank described herself as Jody Hildebrandt's sidekick and questioned why so many children were suffering from depression. I never expected my second grader to come home and say, so-so has anxiety and so-so has depression, she said. Something is off. Something isn't right. In a second video entitled Guiding Children to Truth, Hildebrandt called mothers to understand that principles are necessary for children to have a calm and peaceful life. According to a report in the Salt Lake Tribune, Jody Hildebrandt was put on probation for 18 months and nearly lost her license. This is when she was a PO star and therapist and was giving out personal clientele information. Now, Sherry Frank, the oldest daughter, had shared a post on Instagram after her mother's arrest, saying that she and her family are so glad that justice is being served. And then there was a picture she put up which of her mother being arrested that said, finally, that we've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this, and so glad they finally decided to step up. So I wonder what Ruby Frank's parents are thinking about this, because they literally moved to Serbia uh, almost a couple of years ago. And they literally seven days ago left on an emergency trip to Slovenia. So that was just a couple days prior. So I'm not sure at this moment if they've flown back home, be, you know, in aid of their daughter or if they're still in Slovenia. Anyways, watch this video and again, listen to what it says.
After watching many of the parents' videos, I can't help but feel very sad for them. First of all, they weren't even in the country. And secondly, to have this publicly. And the trickle effect is going to happen. Let's see what happens with this case as it moves along. But always prayers for the children and anyone that's involved that becomes victims of the tragedy of another person's actions. On August 21st, her parents had put up 13 YouTube creators that were the top ones that she wanted to give shout outs to. As you can see in this list, you see Ellie, Bonnie, Julie, Today's, Task, Matt's Off-Road to Rediscovery, but nowhere on this list do you see connections.